morning! Welcome back to my channel. I do movie reviews off of my scratch off poster. Um, so I will watch it and I'll review it. And so let's get to the choosing, shall we? Oh! As much as everyone's probably told me I would love this movie, I've actually never seen it. The movie of today is... I don't know if you can see that. Again, I'm going to stop trying to do that. It's The Big Lebowski! With Jeff Bridges in it. Did I just say the right guy? Yeah, it's Jeff Bridges. I don't know who directs it. I don't know much about it. I just know that Jeff Bridges drinks a lot of white Russians. And it's called The Dude. That is literally the only concept of that movie I have. Maybe there's more to it than that? But I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? We're going to find out. So I'll be back with the review of The Big Lebowski. Stay tuned. Um, I just finished watching The Big Lebowski, uh, directed by the Conan Brothers, Joel and Ethan Cohen, um, starring Jeff Bridges and John Goodman. Wow, this movie was, <laughs> this movie was a ride. <laughs> My gosh, I wasn't sure where it was going or what was happening. But, um, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was definitely an enjoyable film. So this was made uh, in the late 1990s. I believe it was 98. And, my gosh, this film, just like any other Conan Brother film, you're just kind of, you just have to sit and watch where it goes sort of thing. But really, if I had to nail down what this movie is about, it's just about a man who loved his rug. Someone defaced it by peeing on it. And he, want rep he wants reparations. <laughs> That's literally what this whole movie is about. He just gets himself mixed up in this suburban drama that's happening in Los Angeles. <laughs> My gosh. Besides the fact that I like this film, there are some interesting things that I did notice where, where again, it kind of was just, A, either I thought it was interesting or B, I thought it was weird and it's worth talking about. I didn't even notice this, but I guess I don't know. Maybe I just am not paying attention to the amount of times people curse. But they dropped the F-bomb about 292 times is, I believe, the number that I looked up. Which is a lot. But maybe I wasn't that surprised because it is a Conan Brothers film. It kind of reminded me of, um, like... I don't know what I don't know how to describe it, but like those types of movies where it's just like one really long bad day that's happening to the main character. That's what it seems like, but it's a bad week or two that this character is that the dude is going through. And he so happens to have a best friend that is psychotic. That's the word. I wasn't gonna use that word, but that's the word. A loose cannon, if you will. My gosh. Half the conversations that Jeff Bridges and uh, John Goodman have in the film, I just, I felt like that that's something I could relate to. <laughs> it kind of just reminded me of, like, that, like, These are like two people you would not imagine are best friends. Because really, think about it. 
they're e roughly the same age, but one of them is clearly a hippie still living in the Summer of Love era. You know what I'm saying. And then the other one is a Vietnam vet with possible PTSD and is a little gun happy. Like you would not put those two together. You wouldn't. But they're like the best of friends. And I still don't understand after the first time the dude asks Walter to help him out in this situation, you know, where they're in the car and they're having this argument and he's like, no, just hand him the money instead of handing him a bag of his dirty undies. First of all, I just feel like that's a conversation I would have with my best friend if I was... <laughs> if I was in the same situation, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm the dude, I'm just saying... I feel like in that situation, I would be the dude and she would be Walter. <laughs> but, like, after that, <laughs> they have this huge argument. I'm like, dude, why would you keep asking him for his help? <laughs> He is just making things worse. But it's because that's his best friend. And you might as well have a vet on your side if you're going to be doing ransoms and stuff. Have somebody who knows what they're doing helping you out. I don't know. That's just my point of view, I suppose. Oh my gosh. So after the movie, I decided, because I don't know much about it, I decided just to look up some fan theories about the film. And like one of them happens to be about Donnie. Donnie is the third member of their bowling group. And the theory is that Donnie actually is a ghost. Or he's either a ghost or he's a figment of... Uh, He's a figment of Walter's imagination as a result of this PTSD. And the reason why this is a fan theory is because the dude rarely actually interacts with Donnie. So that's the whole conspiracy about that. But also by looking up those things, did find out that the Conan brothers don't actually agree with that theory. So I'm just gonna go with what the directors and the writers of the movie say because I feel like they have better insight on that than people just making up theories. I don't know. But this one is actually the Big Lebowski is seen as a noir. You know, putting the the dude as the detective trying to figure out a crime. which. Kinda in a way he does. He's not trying to do it though. Right? It's not something he's trying to do. He's not trying to do that at all. No. But, like, I look up something real quick. Um, one thing that came up that I was, like, impressed with. And it actually to me makes way more sense about the movie. I feel like no one's talking about, and maybe because it's it's a it's a biblical reference, right? Because at the near the end of the movie, after the dude is talking to Sam Elliott, you know, Sam Elliott says something. Sorry, this is my first time watching it. I don't know all the lines yet. Give me some time, and I'll know the lines. Sam Elliott says something, and then uh, the dude just says. The dude abides, and then, like, carries on, right? And, of course, Sam Elliott's like, the dude abides. <laughs> it's actually a biblical reference, and the verse is, One generation passes away, and another generation comes, but the earth abides forever. And so, basically, that's saying that no matter what <laughs> life throws at you, you're going to remain the same. You're going to be fine. Throughout the whole chaos of life, you're going to be fine. And I'm sitting there going, as I read that part, I'm like, isn't that like the whole point of the film? Is that he just goes back to bowling. He just goes back to being the dude. 
who bowls with his best friends. Then I thought that part was crazy. Just like that reference right there kind of just ties up what the whole movie is about. But really, when it comes down to it, it's just about a dude and his rug. And the dude abides, man. The dude abides. Well, I want to thank you for watching this week's video. Um, again, uh, I loved the movie. Again, it helps to really like a movie when you like the directors. So you kind of know what you're expecting. But the comedy this time around was there. I was laughing the majority of the time. It was just, it was great. And it was a wild ride. And I, it's a cult classic for a reason. And I am on board with this one. I am here for it. So I just want to say thank you again for watching. Um, I'm trying to do these once a week. Because I have a whole poster of movies to watch, don't I? So stay tuned until next week where we'll pick another movie to watch and review. Can you see say goodbye or are you just going to stare at me? Alright, I right, ended the video way too soon because I did forget to do my scratch off. So if you will, wait one moment please. Now we got, as you can see, maybe, not only now do I have an X on a typewriter, but now I've got a set of bowling pins. Yes! Wish you bye!